today's DIY is going to be all about waxing and glazing. First, we're going to start with smeary wax, then we're going to do dark wax, and then we're going to use antiquing glaze. The first thing we're going to do with the smeary wax is we're going to mix it with our fairy chalk mother paint. We're going to do three parts fairy chalk mother and Livingston to one part smeary wax. I've already got some mixed up, but if I was going to mix it up, I'd just put it in a bowl and stir it with a spoon until it was mixed all the way through. When you're going to be waxing, whether you're using smeary wax or you're using dark wax or you're glazing, you always want to make sure your piece is sealed. You're going to seal it with polyurethane or clear wax first. This picture frame here has been painted with our dress blues. It's been sealed with polyurethane and now we're going to put on our smeary wax. We're using our stubby wax brush and we're just going to apply it on there and rub it in. Make sure you get it in all the nooks and crannies and crevices. Once you feel like you've got it on the way you want it and you've got it all smeared in, then you're going to take your lint-free rag and wipe it off. And then in all the nooks and crannies, the wax will stay. If this was being done on a piece of furniture, then once uh, this was dry in a couple hours, I would finish it again with another coat of polyurethane or clear wax. But that's how you do smeary wax. So our next wax technique is going to be with dark wax. This frame was painted with parchment. It's already been sealed with a polyurethane and is ready for our dark wax. I'm going to take my stubby wax brush and dip it down into my dark wax and I'm going to apply liberally to my frame. The trick though, if you get too much on and you want to take it off and the rag doesn't do it, you can always use a magic eraser if it's already been sealed and it'll pull the excess wax off. Once you've got it on there, you're going to take your lint-free rag and you're going to wipe over the top of it. And then it'll stay just in the nooks and crannies. If you didn't seal it first and you did this, you would get a very brown, dirty looking piece. Now if that's the look you're going for, you can skip the sealing step and go straight to waxing. Our very last technique is using our antique glaze. I'm going to take my glaze and use my lint free rag and rub it on the piece and make sure I get it all in all the nooks and crannies. It's going to darken your paint quite a bit, but you're going to rub it in and then rub it off. If that's not dark enough, you could do another coat. When you're all done, after you've got the color that you want, you're going to seal it with a polyurethane. All of our frames are done. We have our smeary wax that we did with our gray industrial paint and fairy chocolate smeary wax. We've got our dark antiquing glaze and we also have our white with dark wax. We're gonna go ahead and put some chalkboards in these and sell them at a flea market. Be sure to check out my website, jamierayvintage.com so you can find the wax and all the paints and the brushes I use today. Be sure to catch the slideshow at the end of this video with a bunch of projects that I've used waxed and glazing on. Be sure to like Jamie Ray Vintage and subscribe for more DIY.